Have you ever marveled at the sleek and stunning MC-21? Do you know, what truly sets this aircraft apart isn't just its looks, it's the powerhouse under its wings, the PD-14. This cutting edge engine boasts hollow fan blades crafted using advanced diffusion bonding technology, a level of engineering sophistication few have even heard of. But is this revolutionary design the key to propelling the MC-21 past the mighty Boeing 737? Can it rewrite the rules of competition in the skies? Get ready to find the truth in today's episode. The demand for advanced aircraft engines became evident as early as the 1960s when Western manufacturers like Boeing and the predecessors of Airbus began pursuing more efficient engine designs to meet the rapidly growing needs of the civil aviation industry. By the late 1990s, Russia faced a significant challenge as the PS-90 engine could no longer meet modern technical and economic requirements due to its outdated design, which had been in place for three decades. To solve this, the United Engine Corporation, UEC, initiated the development of the PD-14 engine in the late 2000s, laying the groundwork for a new generation engine capable of directly competing with Western products. Therefore, this engine not only aimed to replace the aging PS-90, but also sought to position Russia back into the global race for advanced aviation engine technology. Not only that, it is the latest generation engine specifically designed to power the MC-21 medium-range passenger aircraft, aiming to replace Western engines like the Pratt and Whitney PW-1400G. The PD-14 represents a major leap for Russia in achieving self-reliance in modern aircraft engine production, competing directly with advanced models such as the Leap-1 and PW-1000G. The PD-14 is not just an independent project, but is planned as the foundation for an entire family of engines, ranging from the PD-7 with a thrust of 71.6 kN to the PD-18, designed for larger aircraft. However, the primary goal of the Russian engine is to power the MC-21, a new aircraft intended to meet the growing demand for mid-range passenger jets and to directly compete with prominent models like the Airbus A320 and Boeing 737. To achieve this, the MC-21 requires an engine that can match its Western counterparts in both performance and reliability. The key question is whether the PD-14 can rise to meet this challenge and effectively compete in the global market. Which aircraft will be your choice in the future, 737 or MC-21? Surely you have already made your choice. Comment below to let us know. So how is the PD-14 superior? To address this question, let's delve into the key features of the engine. But before turning to the next part, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for being here. The MC-21310 completed its first flight, equipped with the PD-14 engine in December the 20th, 20, marking a significant milestone for the Russian aviation industry. This engine integrates numerous advanced technologies, with Russian engineers employing 3D aerodynamic design techniques for all components to create an optimal and highly efficient airflow path. One of the most notable features of this engine is the hollow fan blades manufactured using diffusion bonding technology, which provides both durability and lightness, a crucial factor in enhancing performance and reducing the engine's overall weight. In addition, the PD-14's compressor combines titanium alloys and nickel-based materials, enhancing durability and performance. The engine's combustion chamber is made of high temperature resistant materials and is coated with ceramic thermal barrier coatings, which reduce the risk of overheating and improve overall reliability. Another notable feature is the PD-14's modular design, which facilitates easier maintenance. Individual components can be serviced without removing the entire engine from the aircraft, significantly reducing downtime for airlines. So how does the PD-14 compare to other engines? The Russian engine doesn't operate in a non-competitive environment. It faces fierce competition from engines like Pratt and Whitney's PW-1000G and CFM International's Leap-1, which are widely used on aircraft such as the Airbus A320neo and Boeing 737 MAX. In terms of core specifications, it has distinct differences in areas such as fuel efficiency, thrust, consumption, and weight, ranging from 2 to 5%. While this gap may seem small, it can lead to significant differences in long-term operating costs and fuel efficiency. Specifically, the gas generator of the PD-14 is larger compared to its competitors, providing 12% to 15% higher airflow. This indicates that the engine is designed with future upgrades in mind, 
paving the way for more powerful variants like the PD-14M and the PD-18R, which are expected to increase thrust output to 18 tons. However, despite its potential for future development, this engine has a lower bypass ratio is 8.5, one compared to the Leap 1A with 11.1. This means the PD-14 may be less efficient in reducing drag and fuel consumption compared to its rivals. So, what will be the actual impact of this? Can the larger gas generator and modular design of the PD-14 provide a long-term advantage over its Western competitors? One of the standout advantages of the PD-14 is its ability to operate at a lower turbine inlet temperature, ranging from 60 to 80 degrees Celsius, lower than competitors like the Leap 1 and PW-1000G. This lower temperature helps reduce engine wear, extending maintenance intervals, and lowering maintenance costs. According to United Engine Corporation, this engine can offer up to 2.5% to 3% lower operating costs compared to its competitors. However, to achieve this advantage, it might sacrifice some thrust output compared to engines designed for higher thermal efficiency. Nonstop there, the PD-14 is designed to meet stringent noise regulations providing quieter operation compared to its competitors, which can be a significant advantage for airlines operating in noise-sensitive airports. Additionally, the engine incorporates features aimed at reducing emissions, aligning with global trends toward greener aviation. Its advancements in fuel efficiency and lower operating temperatures not only contribute to a reduced carbon footprint, but also enhance its appeal in an increasingly environmentally conscious market. More special, the performance of the PD-14 engine under various operating conditions compared to competitors like the PW-1000G and Leap-1 significantly influences its appeal to airlines. It is designed to operate efficiently at high altitudes, maintaining thrust and fuel efficiency. Its ability to operate at turbine inlet temperatures 60 to 80 degree lower helps reduce wear and ensures stable performance in harsh environments. The engine also responds quickly to changes in thrust, enhancing safety and operational efficiency during different flight phases. Additionally, this engine achieves lower fuel consumption across all stages of flight, increasing its attractiveness to airlines seeking to reduce operating costs. These factors collectively position the PD-14 as a competitive choice in the market, appealing to airlines focused on both performance and cost efficiency. However, this engine still has limitations in its combustion chamber design compared to its competitors. Although the PD-14 is a significant improvement over older Russian engines like the PS-90, it still does not match the sophistication of dual annular combustion chambers such as Pratt and Whitney's Talon X or CFM's TAPS-2. Thus, the question arises, can advantages like lower operating costs and modular repairability of the engine compensate for its shortcomings in performance and advanced technology? The turning point came on February 24, 2022, when the war in Ukraine began. Western sanctions made it difficult for Russia to access foreign aircraft engines and components. This left the MC-21 with only one engine option, the PD-14, and only one market, Russia's domestic market, even though both the PD-14 and MC-21 were progressing well before. Before the sanctions, the MC-21 was set to use a combination of the PD-14 and the US-made PW-1400G engines. Now, the engine has to bear the full burden of powering Russia's aviation future. Its immediate task is to supply the domestic market adequately. Only then might Russia consider offering this resource to foreign markets. But is this really a possibility? In the future, the PD-14 will serve as the foundation for Russia to develop other engines. This could be a precursor to more powerful variants such as the PD-18R, which could provide greater thrust for future aircraft. Additionally, smaller engines like the PD-7 and PD-10 could be used for smaller jets. This flexibility could enable Russia to adapt its engine technology for various types of aircraft, meeting diverse aviation needs. The Russian aviation industry is also focusing on increasing the use of composite materials in engine structures. Approximately 65% of the PD-14 structure is made from composites and future versions of the engine may see this figure rise even further. Composite materials offer both strength and weight reduction, which enhances overall fuel efficiency. However, the key question remains, can Russian engines like the PD-14 continue to innovate and compete globally, or will geopolitical pressures stifle their development? The engine represents a significant leap for Russian aircraft engines. Its production brings Russia closer to closing the technological gap with Western manufacturers, 
yet it still lags in areas such as production scale and advanced features. The future success of the PD-14 will largely depend on how quickly Russia can scale up production and build trust with both domestic and international airlines. The PD-14 may not surpass Western engines in every aspect, but it is certainly a major achievement for Russian engineering. With further development, we might see more powerful variants of the PD-14 shortly. What do you think about the potential of this engine? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you and have a safe flight.